All right there, ladies and gentlemen. John Sweepy here, and it's time for part two of Sang Jiao's campaign. And in today's mission, we're going to be visiting the Mountain Bandit campaign. Which is now chronologically dated, apparently. So, this is probably going to be quite a brief recording, since this is not not really that difficult of a mission, at least it wasn't in Dynasty Warriors 3 anyway. In Dynasty Warriors 3, this is one of the very few sort of filler missions, where basically they didn't have an actual campaign, they just kind of stuck them on a small map and said, ah, go kill a few generics and that's it. Now it seems Sang Jia was performing the same fate, but maybe the map will be different. Let's uh, find out what's going on here. Zhang Jiao had routed the anti-yellow turban forces, but the failure of his ideals has left him disillusioned, and it is in this state that he begins an aimless journey with his followers. The land is in chaos, leaders fight against one another, and the plight of the people is ignored by all. Wow, that's pretty depressing there. Then one day, while passing by a small village, Zhang Jiao is asked by the villagers to save them from a group of bandits claiming to be yellow turbans. Feeling responsible for the seeds of misery he himself has sown, Zhang Jiao decides to help these villagers. Oh, so we're going back to this yellow turban in conflict where the thieves claiming to be turbans are causing chaos. So then, there's us, the commander, and a group of peasants. That's the usual for this mission. Kind of an interesting thing this time though is that there's four lieutenant commanders, whereas I'm pretty sure there's usually just three. Usually. So that's kind of different, I suppose. There's four instead of three. Although I could be remembering inaccurately. So, victory, we gotta defeat a commander, and defeat if we die, all civilians are eliminated. Weapon wise. Well, thankfully. Somehow, we managed to get the second weapon drop last time, the Mirage Staff, which is a nice bit of an upgrade, plus 15 more, 15 more damage, and a bit of speed, attack and charge to boot, so that's going to be useful. <coughs> now, item-wise, um, I've been given a suggestion by Shani Malik in the, in the comments from last time to try a new tactic with the... Um, Muzu attacks. What I'm going to do here is let's see. Defense, but manual for keeping. What can maybe some sacrifice health this time? Hmm. Health or luck? Health or luck? Uh, I'm going to sacrifice luck because this is not really a mission that drops too much anyway. So I'm going to try his strategy of using the elixir, and he basically proposes that. When I do his Muzu, don't hold the circle button, just use press it and use Elixir to keep boosting it. So apparently he proposes I should use Short Burst instead of um, the long one. So I might try that this time and see if that pays off. I used to do that before I realized you could hold down the Muzu, but we'll see if that works. Bodyguard wise, um, they did well last time, they actually survived and we are working on their defense at the moment. No new spear, but that's fine. They're going to be on defense until for a little bit anyway until they level up. So that's good and proper. All right then, so let's get on with the mission. Oops, slightly different music for this Why mission. Why do the people not hear our heartfelt plea? Why? Why? Please help us! The Yellow Turban Bandits are attacking our village! Yellow Turban Bandits? This is all my fault. I am responsible. I shall handle this! <laughs> you dare to call yourselves Yellow Turbans? Unforgivable. Indeed. Do not let such bandits near our people. Alright then, so let's check out his uh, fourth attack, shall we? See what that does. Huh, pretty straight knock up into the air. Alright, brief boozu! Wow. So he keeps it charged up nicely there. So his fourth attack just knocks him straight into the air. Nothing too fancy about that, per se. Oh wow, weapon drop. That's good. 
guess that advice I said last time was accurate. Flick, flick, burn! Huh. Well, with this Muzu boost on the Elixir, it's actually not a bad idea. To be honest, the Muzu charges up nice and quick. Although there's not really that much difference to using the short version, since the, Muzu, the only Muzu that remains is um kind of a... Uh, well, just a little tiny bit. Wow, my weapon is a little bit too uh, strong for this mission. I'm cutting down these guys like nothing. That's because I'm using the second tier weapon in a... Probably a mission where you normally would have the first. <laughs> so this will be very, very easy by the looks of it, unless something significantly different is going to happen. Yeah, nothing special with that. It's a standard knock-up and power down, but it's quite quickly, so it's not terrible bad or anything. And also, the music here appears to be the same music that's used on the uh, Battle of Heifei mission. Out of interest, I think if I remember, it's the Wu side that gets this version. I could be wrong, but I think it's called. Ride the wave as well, if I remember correctly. Perhaps. But yeah, it seems like there's some merit to this uh, elixir item. Maybe I should use it a bit more. The villagers have escaped. Okay. So what? The villagers are retreating from this battle? I guess. Alright, let's see if we can't. No, I want to combo the lieutenant commander. Oh, never mind. Just kill him. There's no point for using combos here. They don't drop. There's not going to be much good drops anyway. This is kind of a simple mission. I can't really expect all that much. Bodyguards at least will hopefully survive. One thing we should definitely do is close off that gate. I guess with this. We must be triumphant. I guess with the mission being this easy, I probably should have taken out the health instead of the what, but nah, no big deal. But yeah, you can see there's nothing really much of a difference between using my short burst of Muzu and just going all in, really. I mean, wait, when I have a lot bigger Muzu bar, it would make a difference, but at this point, there's really no point in just uh, using short bursts. Unless, of course, I just want to get moving, but... I will definitely try out this Muzu item. I'm just not so sure what I'd sacrifice to keep it on me. Maybe the bodyguard manual, but I kind of want to train the bodyguards up a bit. So, hmm, now I've got a bit of a dilemma to pick from in this mission. Do I sacrifice Elixir for another one of my items? What do you think in, what do you think in the comments? Should I keep using this Elixir, or... Bloody combo would work off a bit better than Muzu, but nah, what can you do? I see no one in the comments has also come up with any combo ideas, so I guess Shang Jiao is just really hard to combo with, I suppose. Although I might try something with the fourth weapon, perhaps on the next, uh, sorry, the fourth combo, on the next uh, generic, see if that works, if I get a chance. Shouldn't be too difficult. Also an interesting comment from uh, Chelsea Blue 1996 who apparently claims that I know a bit about Chinese history because I've been citing stuff about the games. Unfortunately, I don't know much about Chinese history. I'm just somewhat well versed in the Three Kingdoms War. No point going that way actually, is there? No. I'm only really well versed in that kind of thing because... Alright, let's try this. Oh! Ah, oh, man. Well, I didn't go out too well. Oh, and someone hit him in mid-air. Damn it. Wow, these drops are terrible. Doesn't help when these peasants decide to interrupt my combo, of course. Let's try on this dude. So I basically only really know all this stuff about the games by playing the games and memorizing stuff and events. God. Get away, you stupid... Wow, he's there. Now let's see if I can get this combo going. Alright, quick. Oh my. Oh, he just about able to hand it. Ooh, an enemy ambush party has appeared. Well, that's new. Game 
Well, take him out, for I was meant to be your leader. Oh. Someone like you could never find the way. Oh, okay. I stand corrected. And there's an item drop. So yeah, it seems that sometimes the regular guys are dropping items as well. But yeah, I only really know the war because of the um, playing the games. That's all. It's nothing to do with me. I don't actually know much about the Three Kingdoms war generally. Freaking archer. Man. So, uh, sorry to disappoint you, but I'm not an expert on Chinese history, but that will be kind of cool. I guess having the ability to block with the spears helps these uh, bodyguards a bit. Can you spawn anything else? No, that's kind of it. All that's happened is the commander spawned in a slightly different location and spawned a few more archers, but that's about it. This will be over soon. Off these archers just in case. Now he's gonna go over the bridge. Another bloody archers. Come on, come into range, Mr. Commander. Or oh, 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 just don't, okay? But he's gonna come over the bridge then. Your life ends now. Dynamic with a spear, your time has come. Time to die. Ah, oh, I cannot. Thought, oh, I could somehow. I could somehow manage to turn a lot quicker at the final bit of that combo, as opposed to the rest of it. Which is weird. I want to try and combo the commander if I can as well. He'd be an excellent uh, struck target. Let's see if I can eliminate his stupid guard so I can pull this. Ooh, got a nice bit of combo there. Okay, one. Oh, I need to boost my Muzu up a bit though. I guess when he means boost, he wants you to do it manually. Let's see. There we go. Now we have it. Oh, why did I walk into that? Right. See ya. You've no bodyguards now. Oh, let's try this. Into the air. What? Oh, he jumped straight out of it. The one problem with that fourth attack is that the height is not very high on the actual thing. Look how black of height it is. Wow, that is not going to be easy for comboing. At all. He gets no height. No height at all. That is just, that is just bad. That is so bad. Oh, God. Understand the power of the way of peace? As I beat you down with my fire stuff. Sang Jiao, another character to which comboing will not be happening very often. Ah, oh, that is so frustrating. I honestly thought that staff would be a good combo weapon, but it's not. Oh well. Took out Lieutenant Commanders. Took out the Gate Captain. Mm, looks like the peasants actually retreat this time instead of just disappearing. Commander showed up. Slightly different location than he usually does. He normally appears near the gate captain. And we took him out relatively easily. Get a wet. Ooh, hello. Mountain Quiver. Arrows plus seven. That's not bow damage. That basically means you get more arrows at the start of the mission. That could be useful if you want to go bow, I guess, but. I very rarely do. Ooh, different bodyguard spear. More attack than music max. It's always good. Ah well, the critical thing is that the bodyguards again survive, so they will gain some more bonus points. From a very basic mission. So let's see if they get anything at all. Rank up to class 11 with uh, Sang Jiao, but the bodyguards don't gain anything this time, unfortunately. But they are one step closer to becoming more useful in the future. So, points wise, we top the sheet. KO ranking, we top the sheet. And time wise, we beat every AI. <laughs> All too easy. 
Not really much of a mission at all, to be honest. Goodbye, Wee Boo. I'm overwriting your data. Deal with it. Battle with Shang Bon, huh? Interesting choice for map number three. I wonder who this will be against. Oh! The Han forces are back. Well, now, this is interesting. Very interesting. But that will be for next time. So, what did you all think of the Mountain Bandit campaign? And what did you think of Sang Jiao's second weapon in his fourth combo? Is there going to be any hope for Sang Jiao's combo ability? Do you think I should focus more on the elixir in my item list or something else? And what do you think will happen next time in the Battle of Shang Bon against the Han forces? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below and I'll catch you all next time for part 3 of Sang Jiao's campaign. Farewell Dynasty Warrior fans.